Today we're going back to basics and we're going to be talking about our battery powered backpack sprayers. Now here in front of me I have the HD 4000 holds four gallons again battery powered 12 volt uh, lead acid battery and then here I have the smaller two gallon HD 2000. Both of them perform the same functions and are great for the homeowner and that's mostly what we're going to be talking about today. Now, no matter if you're going for a lush oasis lawn perfection that would make your neighbor's eyes drop out of their sockets and turn their faces green with envy, or if you're just regular Joe Blow homeowner like me and you just want to do some home improvements, a battery powered backpack sprayer is an essential tool. It's like the hammer and Phillips screwdriver in your lawn care toolbox. Nice. No matter which bottle you choose, you're gonna have variable pressure, you're gonna have large mouth opening openings, and you're gonna have comfy backpack pads on the back. They're perfect for watering your lawns, they're perfect for watering plants. They're perfect for applying herbicide. They're perfect for applying a treatment of any kind on your lawn and grass, uh, fertilizer, uh, fish and seaweed, whatever solution you want to use on your lawn, a battery powered backpack sprayer is going to be perfect. So let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now you're going to notice the advantages of a Petra Tools backpack sprayer from day one. The big one for me is I don't have to lug around a garden hose to get water to my plants, to my flowers. I don't have to mix solutions in a watering can and refill it 16 times. Uh, it's just a whole lot easier to strap on one of these backpack sprayers. They're super comfortable and I can get the liquid to where I need it to go without knocking over everything in between. Oh my God! Wow! The other advantage is you can choose the size that's right for you. Now we make a two gallon, we make a four gallon, we make sprayers going up to the huge wheelbarrow 21 gallon sprayer. So you're gonna find a sprayer that matches the jobs that you have. You can also choose from a bunch of different nozzles. We've got a whole family of 12 nozzles that you can choose from on our website, petrotools.com your sprayer probably came with five nozzles. Now, this makes your sprayer into almost a different machine. The pink nozzle here, for example, gives me a misting spray, or it can give me a straight shot where I can reach over 20 feet. So the nozzles are another big advantage. Um, the hands-free operation is something that I appreciate as I get older. It's a little bit difficult sometimes. My hands are a little creaky when I'm spraying for a long time. Or uh, So what I can do is lock the trigger. Every model that we sell includes an effective trigger lock. The last thing you're really gonna appreciate is no pumping. How many times have you pumped to try and keep pressure and keep your spray the same and it just doesn't work? A battery powered sprayer will give you a constant stream from start to finish. Huge advantage. Okay, now before you get started with the actual spraying, remember we're covering the basics here today. I want you to put on a good comfy outfit, have a pair of shoes that you can easily clean off. You never know what you're gonna get on them. Wear eye protection wear hand protection, depending on what you're spraying. And when I'm outside, I always throw on at least an SPF 30 sun protection. I also like to wear my hat for various reasons. Okay. And also don't forget, this is super important. Stay hydrated with your favorite beverage. Ha! Got it! <laughs> All right. For demonstration purposes today, I'm gonna to be using, like I said, two of my favorite models. The first one is my emotional support sprayer, HD 2000. <laughs> yeah, boy. 
does a great job, holds two gallons. The other one is the HD 4000. It can tackle bigger tasks with a capacity of four gallons. Before we get started spraying though, we're gonna make sure that your sprayer is ready to go. And the first thing you wanna do when you get your sprayer or when you get it out of storage or when you get it out of the garage for your job for the Saturday morning that you have planned, make sure it's charged up. Now these have super simple battery ports on the side that you plug it in and forget it. You can charge these overnight. You can charge them for a couple hours if you're doing something in the evening, but just plug them in and forget it. But make sure your battery is fully charged before you start your job. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, open up the big mouth lid and fill your tank. Now, here's some hard won advice that has uh, served me when I fill my tanks. I, I usually will put the water in first for a lot of reasons. If you put a soapy solution in, it can suds up and the suds comes out over the side and makes a big mess. So I usually put the water in first. Measuring is easier with the HD 4000 because it has the six ounce measuring cap. Next, you're gonna wanna select the right nozzle for the job. And we've got a whole bunch of different ones to choose from. So make sure that uh, you watch the video that I recorded previously on nozzle selection. At this point, you are ready to begin spraying. So I'm gonna use the HD 2000 for this demonstration. Turn it on by dialing up the pressure to your liking. You'll figure out how much pressure you need. It varies between 60 and 80. Now, if you're on the HD 4000, you've got the red rocker switch and that is instant on full pressure for the jobs that are gonna require that, but it also has a pressure adjustment knob, so you can dial it in. Remember, don't use both. It's one or the other, the red rocker switch or the pressure knob. And then you're spraying. We're safe on fire. Now, for most homeowners, the solutions that you'll apply are not really finicky as to how much you put on per thousand square feet of yard, but some of them can be. So fertilizers, herbicides, you need to have careful, careful application. And the directions on the back of the bottle will tell you how much solution per thousand square feet of yard you need. In order to do that, you need to calibrate your machine and it's not difficult at all. I'm gonna do a whole other video on calibration, but Essentially, what you want to do is time how long it takes you to spray 16 ounces of liquid from your sprayer using the nozzle that you're going to use for the job. And then you'll multiply that up. So 16 goes into a gallon, which is 128. How many times does 16 go into 128? Spray Daddy knows. It's eight times. So you would multiply that time times eight. So if it took you 20 seconds, you would do 20 times eight, which is 160 seconds. So like I said, I'll do another video on calibration, but if you need precise application. What? That's what you'll need to do first. And it's a one and done. Once you've calibrated your machine, that's it, you're done. If you use the same nozzle, you can use those measurements again. The final benefit I'm gonna talk about of a Petrotool sprayer we do not put on the outside of the box, and that is the fact that it gets you outdoors where you can breathe in the outdoors air, explore your environment, get attached to your yard, whether it's spraying weeds or moss or applying fertilizer to your grass. There's a million different ways that any homeowner can benefit from a Petrotools HD 2000. Get the kids involved, get outside. The outdoor air is like a cold beer on a hot Christmas morning. Super refreshing. That's about it for this Back to Basics video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure and let me know by, hmm, how can you let me know? Smashing that like button, subscribe to our videos, and keep watching. As always, folks, keep spraying. Who's your daddy? You don't have to answer that. Whew, that was a lot of hard work, all in the name of science. I hope they liked that video. I hope they hit subscribe. I hope they hit like, and I hope I get my 2 billion followers that I want 